So I can switch. Okay. Neil wasn't kidding. This really is configuring itself. Does that now? Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I got some time to snoop around the house. Cool. In the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. I kid, I kid. <laughs> but if I switch to Neil, is he still in the same spot? Oh yeah, nice. So we can learn a lot while uh, no, nothing happens. A song about solid dehydration, monoxide, and rapid oxidation. And they too succumb to the mortal wounds of the last of them. Nope, thanks. Reminds me too much of my job. Nope. Alright, buddy, what's up? Anything I can help with, Doc? Um, about Colin. Mind tell me a bit about your father before we get into his head? Well, he's a retired airline pilot and quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Although more recently... Well, more recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone text before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that'll help. It would, thank you. Retired pilot. Oh no, I should join the party. <laughs> <laughs> yes? But Colin. Do you mind telling me about your husband? Why? Won't you be going into his head to see for yourself? That's, well, more background and perspective to always help. I don't know what I could tell you that I won't be able to see. Wow, okay. Yes, tour of the apartment. It's okay, I'll show you around. Wow, okay, thanks. Very helpful. Well, I'm, this thing's got a little thing on it, so I have to go check, go touch it. Huh, that's your dad's? It sure is. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's just a chair, I think. <laughs> well, out the door I go. Aw, look at that. Is that your parents? Yeah, that's them. I remember them being embarrassed about the kind of picture as a kid, but... It's kind of sweet in that they kept it so well. Flowers? Odd homegrown hibiscus. Ooh, this must be hard growing tropical plants all the way down here. I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Hibiscus, okay. Let's go over here. Anything in the kitchen? Oh, how about this cab? Oh, paper towel, or toilet paper. <laughs> Dang it, why does toilet paper never get on the dispenser? <laughs> One day, they'll thank me for the unsung hero I am. Okay, so it's all what? Yeah, it's all one floor. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. It's my father's old cello. He played a lot back in the days. But not anymore, it seems. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually plays the scales, though. They're not exactly music to be enjoyed. Digital piano. Also your father's, or... No, this is my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. Intentionally, I hope. <laughs> if I go to the washroom, he waits. <laughs> and meets me on the other side. I guess upstairs I go. I haven't been in many apartments with multiple floors. Most of this floor is for maintenance. We got a little storage room cut out. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a lot of cleanup. Doing a bit cleanup. Nope, can't turn on the light. Okay. Huh, seems they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's, it's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. Guess he didn't want it to throw it away. Yeah, it's sealed up. Doesn't want anybody reading it, huh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say leave it alone for privacy's sake. I did sign up to become a client, so I don't know. Unseal and reopen. There's a chance it'll help the mission.
There's nothing in this. Huh? Nothing but stacks of empty pages glued to the spine. They're all wrinkled too. That's odd. Been around for ages though. Maybe whatever was on it has faded. These aren't receipts, but I guess it's possible. Either way, there's not much I can do with this. It'll be important later. Let's keep moving. It'll be important later. Mirrors. Oh, actually, there's something else you might help you prepare. Oh, nice. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Here's a family photo album. Goes way back. A physical photo album in this day and age? Feels like it would turn to dust if I opened it. It's quaint, but I guess they like having something you can touch. Look through it if you want. I'll go check out on my father. I should get the machine ready too. My colleague will be back soon. But I'll check this out for a bit first. They look so happy. Him going off and playing music together. So I'm gonna say I have to play with Watson. All right, let's go say hi to this kid. Ah, you got your bear back. Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. You should lay off the sugar, kid. Ain't good for your head. Alright, let's go talk to the guy at the desk. Let's see what he has to say. Done already? He didn't die on you, did he? No. She shoot. Who hired you? She... <laughs> An old lady. Let's go say hi to her. Who's dying, dear? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. That coat and tag. You're from Sigmon. If you're here, then someone's time's up. <laughs> Alan Reed, do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. Er, you sound awfully calm about it. If I were your friend, I'd be worried. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's not hard to be. But then you'll see all the people that you should know well. Now you think about it, everyone's so nice about him. There's something, there's gonna be something deep and dark in here. I know it, it's too, too forca- it's too much niceness around, surrounding him right now. It kind of worries me. Oh, there's a little hill here. Something about it worries me. Can't find it. Big nab it out. Leave it at the office. Hey, look, we're gonna call. It's Roxanne. Hello. Hey, Rox. Neil's still hiding your caller ID. Getting calls from unknown feels like I'm in a horror movie, you know. My bad. I'll turn it off next time. No, I love the suspense. Every time I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the pets coming after me? The excitements are endless. Um, alrighty. Anyways. Look, are you still at the office? I think I left a patient's file on the printer. Oh, okie dokie. Okie lokie. Just give me a moment. Hey, you got the file? I, I think I forgot all the way back at the... You what? Don't worry, I called Roxanne. She's gonna finally send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on your table after all. Great, just scan it in. Wait, my table? You're in my room? Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? I went for the printer in the lobby. How'd you get it in my room anyhow? I locked it. Oh, a girl's got her ways. 
Okay, look. Let's get out of there and send a scan, will ya? And don't touch anything. I just organized it. Yep, yep, I'm on it. Oh, she's gonna touch something. Uh-oh. Rocks, you're touching things. You guys got everything else you need? Yeah, Eva's configuring the machine right now. How's the weather out there? What? Is it nice for a drive? I guess so. Nito, I think I'll just come over and get your file in person then. What? Why? Just scan it and send over a copy. Oh, well, we got no patience today and it's boring over here. Anyway, anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. Be both done. Wait, rock. Dang, Nabbit. But she wants to investigate before, before she comes over. How are we doing here? Good, got my part done. What about the file you said Ro Roxy is sending over the scans? Uh, she says she's delivering in person for some reason. What? That's wasting both of our time and hers. Hers mostly, we can start, still start. Still, I mean, I know she's a bit cucumbers in the head and all, but... Oh, language, Eva's. Eva. Anyway, we'll worry about her loopiness later, shall we start? Alright, just get the patient equipped up. Let's do this. Uh, Neil? Hmm? Never mind, we'll talk later. Your helmet's on the recliner. We're all set. Hey, they got a recliner this time. Immense memory traverse? Well, yeah, let's go! Wait! Before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Or are we going through his memories to grant him his last wish? I thought you already knew. Well, yes, I know that, but... How? What will you actually be doing? Well... We'll elaborate a little bit, why not? We actually don't do much. The machine does most of the work. Says the technician. Who knows best? The machine calculates the... Oh, God. Stop making words. <laughs> the permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. <laughs> In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him it would be indistinguishable from a lifetime of real memories. However, the permissions of the machine calculate they still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and change in a key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need, drawing a line from now to then. And we'll be able to help Colin transfer in his current motivations all the way to his past. So in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the chaos decisions fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition. Is that enough? I thought fulfilling wishes would take more than just just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs happen, happen? Uh, why not? Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There's a few things that that hope will the illusion of the reality. Illogical happenesses aren't one of them. And since the world must be self-coherent, we can't afford more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not cave painting. There's little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. Then we start strong, and then plateau, then fade. When a simulation based on the mental state of a single moment Stretch through a lifetime. Let's just say it's more powerful voodoo, man. Mon. Anyhow, no amount of volition is going to help a dead man. So shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's going to happen in there, but good luck. Looks for the lotteries. We're professionals. <laughs> oh, sharp woods. Sharp woods. <laughs> See you on the other side.